Welcome to Front Porch Lawyer, where we address the humanity of lawyering. Many attorneys are winning battles in the courtroom, but losing battles in their lives. From interpersonal relationships to stress management, Front Porch Lawyer explores topics that improve your practice, your lifestyle, and even your love life. Leave feeling a little more inspired with a smile on your face. Here's your host, Francine Tone. Hi, I'm Francine Tone and welcome to my front porch. Today is a front porch lawyer brief. Under five minutes and we have a little brain science. So don't you hate making mistakes? I know I do, even little ones. And you, you proofread something like a brief and you proofread it over and over and over again and you know it's perfect and then you file it. And then two months later, when you're getting ready to go to court, you reread your papers and you find typos, one or two typos that you missed. Or you're reading along and the word not, N-O-T, is missing from the sentence, changing the meaning of the sentence completely. You know, it's embarrassing. As you're reading it, you're embarrassed that this happened. These little errors aren't likely to cause an outcome in your case. That's not what, what worries you. It's just that it's your reputation. It's a lack of perfection. And if you're a lawyer, you probably are a perfectionist when it comes to filing papers. I mean, what lawyer wants to be known as the lawyer who leaves out the word not in the sentence or files papers with a bunch of typos? None of us want that. So here's the quick fix. Read it out loud. Yes, out loud, I need it. So the brain <clears throat> has this remarkable ability to fill in for missing information and it does so in a blink. Your brain knows what the paper is supposed to say. And so when you're relying on the visual input alone reading, the brain just fills in for what's missing. And you read the same sentence 20 times and your brain will see or assume the word not when it's not there. <laughs> but when you include your vocal cords and say it out loud, your brain now hears rather than just sees the message when the message is incorrect because when you speak it, it sounds wrong, your brain gets that hiccup and it alerts you that there's a mistake. Typos, same thing. Incorrectly spelled words are sometimes hard to pronounce because it startles you when you start to read it and you go, that's wrong. Again, that's another hiccup in your brain, enough to alert you to the mistake so you can get it fixed. So give this a try next time. Start with something short, like a letter. And if you don't have time, to walk around your office reading your paper out loud, have someone else do it and tell them to go read it out loud. Now, I did mention perfectionism, which is an issue for us, and feeling embarrassed, and those are topics for another video. But for today, add reading out loud as a method to include in part of your proofreading process. So comment below and send me your thoughts by email, and be sure to follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, or YouTube so you don't miss any episodes. Thank you for joining me on my front porch. This is Francine Tone and Front Porch Lawyer, and I'll see you next time.